Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and i um, here with the Lenovo S10 3T to show you a uh, pretty neat little application here. It's called Chrome Touch, and it's an add-on for Google Chrome Web Browser. Out of the box, the Google Chrome Web Browser doesn't support touch gestures very well, so if you want to use it to scroll through a web page, for example, you're going to need to use the uh, scroll bar on the side of the page, which is kind of awkward to do with your fingertip. But when you install Chrome Touch, automatically you can flick through web pages like this, and it has some neat little animations that are optional too. So, for example, if you get to the top of the page, it'll sort of go all the way up and then bounce. You can drag left or right. This page pretty much fits, so you don't need to. Let's take a quick look at some of the settings here that are available. One uh, nice one for netbook users is you can click the no scroll bars mode, and I don't know if you saw that, but when I clicked it, scroll bar on the side just sort of disappeared. Bring it back. Okay, well, it doesn't want to seem to come back right now, uh, so that's not automatic. But when this no scroll bar mode is on, the scroll bar that normally shows up on the side of the screen is gone, and it just disappeared from here, too, giving us a little bit more screen real estate, which is nice for netbooks. Um, you also have control over a couple of different things here. You have the drag speed. So, for example, here's the default drag speed, which is pretty fast. But if I change it up to 5, it's almost, you know, impossible to see what's going on here. Uh, pretty fluid, which is good for a, a netbook that has a relatively slow processor and graphics. Um, you can also adjust the sliding distance, the sliding factor, turn that bounce effect on and off. That effect being that uh, if you scroll to the top of the screen, it'll sort of get there and then bounce back. And, oh, uh, another nice feature here is that you have auto off or full in terms of uh, how you want to do the scrolling. So for example, say you want to just navigate this way, scrolling around, that's fine, you just leave it in full mode. But what if you want to select some text that just doesn't work when you've got full mode on? So you switch to auto, and now when you drag your finger across the screen, it can tell that you're trying to select text. And you can right click by pressing and holding, and click copy and copy it to the clipboard. When you're done doing that, you can just go back to full, or even when you're in auto mode, you should be able to flick the screen. It's not quite as responsive, I find, because sometimes they'll think you're trying to grab text when you uh, really wanted to flick, but basically it should work in auto mode. Um, for the best experience, if you're not selecting text, though, you should just go ahead and click to full. This is a uh, quick look at Chrome Touch for Google Chrome Web Browser. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.